Those making a game with Unreal Engine and Narrative Pro are going to have a huge upgrade with 2.1. Let's have a look. Mounts such as vehicles, horses and so on are a hugely requested feature so we've added them in 2.1. We will be shipping a basic demo vehicle as an example of how to set a mount up, but mounts can be used to create things other than just vehicles like horses, turrets, airplanes, pretty much anything you could ever want. We didn't just add driving for players but for AI too. You can now use the drive to destination goal in order to get NPCs to drive around with the player. Let's say we're making a quest and we want Felix to drive to this hut. We'll simply add a goal to Felix, give him the location of the hut, tell him which vehicle we want him to drive, and he will drive to the given destination. All of the pathfinding and driving logic is handled for you right out of the box. We handle lots of other common features like having an NPC slow down if they have driven too far away from you, or having an NPC wait for you to get into the car before they drive off. The follow goal has also been updated such that if an NPC is following you, they can try to come with you on your mount, provided that a slot is free for them of course. This sort of driving where you can dynamically get in or out of a car is not often seen in smaller indie games due to the complexity, so we're excited to be able to offer this feature right out of the box. And we'll be doing tutorials on this of course when 2.1 comes out. Inspired by some of the cinematics from Red Dead Redemption 2, we've upgraded our cinematic tools and it's now really easy to configure random cinematic events that occur within your world, and this just gives even more life to the game. In Epic's animation sample, you can only mantle on predefined boxes. We've extended their system to allow for a fully mantleable world, along with adding support for climbing. Our climbing is fully motion matched, and we've even added a little climbable nav link you can use to get your NPCs climbing with you. Swimming is also coming to the narrative character in 2.1, and motion matched climbing is plugged right into it to allow for seamless mantling out of water bodies. Save slots can now be quick loaded from the play menu. Let's say I'm playtesting a certain part of a quest. I can save right before that part of the quest, select that save, and now I'm quickly able to replay that part over and over without having to replay the entire quest. Even cooler is that if you create a shared saves folder, you can drop saves in here and share save games with other members of the team. Let's say multiple people are working on this quest with me. I'll drop that save in my shared saves, and when other team members grab the project and source control, they will be able to select the save and play it too. Dialogue has also been improved, and quests can now have a linked dialogue. Let's say I want Seth to say something when I take this pistol as part of my quest. I can click the little speech bubble, add a line for Seth, and check it out. When I take the pistol, the quest will automatically play that linked dialogue line. Dialogues now also support using controller or keyboard to select replies, meaning that we can now support free movement dialogue. This means you can have dialogues where you're not interrupting the gameplay flow at all. Most open world games require pedestrians of some kind, so we hired an AI programmer who specializes in Epic's mass AI system. Our mass AI pedestrians are extremely performant, but that was not enough. We extended mass to allow these high performance pedestrians to be promoted to full blown NPCs at any time. And this means you get the best of both worlds. You get great performance, but also these rich NPCs that can flee, shoot, interact, and do anything that an NPC would normally be able to do. Tools that require you input a time of day no longer require manually typing in the time of day. You now get a nice time of day selector, and we've done the same for tools that require you to select a quest or dialogue node. Instead of having to copy paste the node's ID, you now actually get a handy drop down which is a much cleaner way of doing it. Instead of just supporting ambient and combat music, we've extended the music system to make it easier to support many different types of music, changing the music per level, or even overriding the music when the player is in a certain area of the map, or doing a boss battle, or something like that. The frustrating setup process that used to involve editing your game's INI files is now handled for you with a single click. We've added a narrative pro tab as well to quickly access useful tools within the plugin, so the plugin should hopefully feel a whole lot more polished now. We're continuing to invest heavily into Pro and we cannot wait to show you guys. You can expect 2.1 to release in early September. 
Thanks for watching and stay tuned for some tutorials when 2.1 drops.